Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, Rudy. Get them girls over here. Hey, girls. Say, come on, girls. Come on, Avery. Come on, Junie B. Come on, girls. There's Avery. Come on, Junie B. Come on. There's Junie B. There she is. There she is. She is. There's those girls. There's those girls. I see the question about my head. No, it's still rocking and rolling. I took a little bit of medicine at lunch, but I don't like to take too much medicine. Sometimes it makes it worse. Yes, I do call Junie, Junie B. Jones. That was kind of the idea behind her name. Uh, my daughter used to read the Junie B. Jones uh, books when she was growing up. I actually probably should have named Avery Junie B. Jones because uh, Avery's kind of a firecracker. But I ended up uh, naming her Junie B. Junie B. Jones. I loved that book series uh, when my daughter uh, was at that reading level. We had the dolls and the books and we had the hardbacks and the paperbacks and all the stuff that went with it. Yeah, I should have named Avery Ramona. So just a reminder that Avery and Junie will have their JPS laser surgery tomorrow. So I'll be dropping them off at the clinic uh, in the morning, and then um, Jace and Rudy both have some shots to do, and I need to have Rudy's eyes looked at again. I noticed over the weekend they were looking a little bit different, so I just wanted to make sure that they're staying on track. Uh, Belle and Henry are inside. Henry was going around checking out all the empty pans when I left, and Belle is still on activity restriction till at least the end of the month, as far as she's not really supposed to be outside. Yeah, we've put in an order for the ladies to have crock pots at the clinic tomorrow. All the pups have their order in. So all four of the five puppies, I still count Belle as a puppy because she's only like seven months old, but uh, four of the five puppies will be at the clinic tomorrow for either shots, surgery, or eye follow-up. I see the comment about... <laughs> Wanny startling Rudy. 
Um, things like that actually are good for him. Um, and that's just her talking to him. I know that's not exactly the language we necessarily use as humans, uh, but it's also important not to interrupt that because um, it helps him understand about pack order and about her being pack leader. Um, she doesn't nip him or boss him as much as the others at times that I've had here, but she still has. I can tell she senses a difference with him. I've also watched her smell his eyes and his face. Here, Rudy. Good boy. So I know she knows something's different, whether she knows he's blind or not, I'm not sure, but um, I, I, she, is, she corrects him and bosses him just like the others. We don't treat him any differently here than the other puppies other than um, I'm proactive about his safety uh, to make sure, you know, he's not going to get in a train wreck of some sort. And otherwise, um, I just treat him the same. I actually sometimes don't even think about his blindness always. I just really want to make sure he learns to adapt um, and learn to get along with other dogs and blend and also understand his place when he's reprimanded by another dog. Because obviously sometimes I've seen blind dogs that are nippers and that are biters just because they've had people that didn't really understand them, didn't really understand how to work with them. Um, and then that leads to problems, problems later. Yeah, and Jace does have swagger. Most of the reason Jace has swagger is his kneecaps are all jacked up. Um, so he will have surgery later after he's one year old at the university in Ohio to have those corrected. They are way off to the side. Um and they cause him to walk differently. He can't really use his back legs fully because of the kneecaps. Well, he can't use them properly, I guess I should say. So, Junie here, she's kind of my rabbit bunny hopper. She has kind of a thump about her legs, especially when she's on hard floors. You can hear her thumping down the hall. I'm never, I don't really think I've had one quite like this before. She's real flat footed. I'm waiting on her other uh, hock splint to come. And I've got, I'll have two hock splints uh, to put on each back leg. Then I'm going to work with her legs. See if we can straighten them out just a little bit. Um, it's just nerve damage and spinal cord issues. Um, but basically, it's inappropriate nerve sensations due to her spinal cord defect. She's not had any kind of trauma or anything like that. It's just she's got lesions in her cord that are causing poor communication. And then her feet are flat, almost like people that are flat-footed. So the temperatures today have been nice, uh, really nice right now. We lost the humidity and the high 90s, so I think in the morning it's maybe going to be the high 60s or something crazy, which I'm a cold weather person. I'm not into heat, so you can bring on the snow if you want. <clears throat> So Jace and Rudy are in humping mode. Um, easy, easy. Let's not be biting ears. Sometimes I just redirect them, but obviously humping is just a natural, an instinct for them. So we're going to try to get Jace neutered right before he goes to Ohio. And Rudy will get neutered at age six months with his eye removal.
Yeah, so we're either daycare here or dating show, that's for sure. I think I said that the other day. And I think Henry talked about it in his video. Rudy, Rudy, what you doing? What are you doing, Rudy? Come, come, Rudy. Good boy. Good boy. You gotta listen for that sound. Your hearing is spectacular. Yeah. All right, hope everyone has a great evening.